Hi, this is Andrew here with Uvify, and today we're going to be going over the Draco, where you can and cannot fly it, general flight checklist, and getting out there and flying. So, when you're ready to fly your Draco, do some research into where you can and cannot fly your Draco. This will vary by what country you're in, and sometimes even the area within your country, uh, depending on the local regulations. So please make sure you do some research as to where you can and cannot fly. In addition, there are areas like RC fields in many countries where you can go fly these fully safely with a lot of experienced people around. So please check out any local RC fields that you might have in your area. For example, in Canada we have MAC fields, or in the US you have AMA fields. These are fields where you can go fly. You'll have a lot of good guys to help you out getting into the sport if you're already trying to learn about it and, you know, if you've got some experience already, they'll be there to have fun with you. Please make sure you have done all the previous setup. This is not right out of the box flying. You need to do some setup beforehand. When you're ready to fly, also check that your VTX channel and power output is within regulation for your country as well. For example, in the UK, 25 milliwatt is the maximum output that you can use. If you're in the US, there's one or two channels that are illegal to use as well. So please check your VTX channel and power output as it will vary depending on country and area. Also in your setup, you set up the rates within this unit. This basically says, you know, how fast it's going to move, how fast it's going to flip, and that type of stuff. Please stay within your comfort level. You will want to kind of advance as you get better, but you always want to start at a level lower than you think you are, just so that you can kind of get the feel of it and then really start pushing it later on. Also, when you're going out to the field like this, you want to make sure that everything is normal on the drone itself. You have all your arm bolts are tight, all the camera stuff is tight, your props are tight and they all look good and clean and, and new. If they have been crashed before, please make sure to check all those. Make sure your SMA joint is tight at the back, as well as for the battery, that again, it is fully charged. This one here has got four bars, so we know that we are fully charged and ready to go. That's basically all the stuff from the drone side. And you've got to have your radio as well ready to go, as well as your FPV viewing device. I have a pair of goggles here. Once you've got Draco in the area that you want to fly, please check the surroundings for people, dogs or other stuff that you wouldn't really want to fly around or into. For this area, there are a couple trees, no people, no buildings, we're good to go. So, we're going to start with a power-up sequence. For this, we're going to start with the radio first. It's always a good idea to turn your radio on first when you're powering up your drone. And also, when you're powering your drone down, that you power your drone down first and your radio last. Basically, it should be the first and the last thing on or off. So, our radio is on, so we can now power the drone. To power the drone, again, it's a short, long press on the button. Once you've powered up Draco, place it on the ground within about five seconds so the gyro can calibrate. We're going to do this now by short, long press on the power button. You're going to have, hear the boot up tones, and we're going to place it on the ground. Basically, by the time those last beeps happen, it should be on the ground and ready to calibrate. Now it's on the ground and ready to go. We're not going to arm the drone just yet. Next, we're going to hook up our FPV device, in my case, a pair of goggles. I'm going to go to the channel that it was predefined on that I set up earlier, look through the goggles, and I should be able to see the video feed itself. You're looking for two things when you're checking the video feed. Let me switch my channel quickly, there we go. So there's two things that we're looking to check when looking through our video feed. First is that everything is in focus on the camera lens. So you can easily do this by just lifting the drone up and kind of looking around. What you're looking to see is that the area basically about 20 meters away is in focus. You don't want anything close up like right here to be in focus and then stuff out there to be out of focus because most of the time you're flying around, you're looking at things a bit farther away from you. Second thing you're going to check is that the OSD is functioning. So you can look at this by seeing the values around the outside of the screen that they're all there and normal. Some of these ones that you really want to check are that the voltage is full or at a level that's flight worthy and that the frequency that you're on is correct. So now that we've checked the FPV feed and we know that we're good to go, we need to do a quick check of the props on the Draco. To do this, simply pick it up and look at the props on the back and the front to make sure they're going the correct direction. Basically, this one's supposed to be going this direction, this direction, this direction, and this direction. And the blade is kind of pushing air downwards. So now what we're going to do is place it on the ground for a hover test. I recommend you do this kind of about 10 feet or 3 meters in front of you probably don't want to hover it right in front of you in case something goes wrong. So I'm going to place it up here, like so. Again, always keep the tail towards you when you're doing the first hover test, because if you do turn around in any other direction, sometimes you will actually get disoriented when you're flying the drone. 
So for this unit, as you will receive in stock usually, is a bottom right to arm the drone on the yaw stick. So we're gonna do that to arm the drone. And first things first is we're gonna just leave it at low throttle on the ground like that. We wanna check that all the directions are correct when we move the sticks. So for example, when I move the roll to the right, you can see the drone wants to go to the right. And for example, when I go to the left, it wants to go left, forward, back. So if all four of those directions are normal, then we know the drone will fly correctly. If any of those seem like it's doing weird things, please double check your prop directions before continuing. So now that we know all the directions are correct, we can do a quick hover test where we basically just pull it off only about a foot off the ground to make sure that it hovers properly. Keep in mind that this does require you to be in auto level mode if you're kind of beginning. If you're in manual mode, it can be a bit harder to hover in one spot. There's no GPS on this unit. It's not like some other aerial photography drones that will hold their position when you let go of the sticks. So please always have your hands on the sticks when you're flying it. So again, we're gonna go bottom right on the yaw stick to arm, and we're gonna start giving it a bit of throttle to pull it out of the air. And there we go, we did a quick hover test. That basically shows that everything is working correctly and we're ready to go and fly FPV. A couple of things to note about that. If for some reason it's kind of wobbling and it's close to the ground, this is called ground effect. Basically the air that the props are pushing down is coming back up into the drone and kind of making it wobble a bit. So that's why we need to get a couple of feet off the ground to make sure that it's flying normally. If you do get a bit of wobble near the ground, this is completely normal. So now that we've tested everything, we're ready to head over to the field and fly Draco FPV.